Welcome back everybody. Today is the day we are traveling, leaving Indonesia. Not forever, just for this a few weeks the summer. Yes. We are heading to Nepal. We're very excited about that. We have connected with the Nepal hiking team. More on them later. But yeah, we're really excited to get this travel day going. We're flying here from Jakarta to Singapore, about four hours in Singapore. Yeah on to Kathmandu. We should land at Kathmandu, I believe like at, after 10 p.m. at night. So it's gonna be a long travel day. We're definitely gonna be tired. Uh, but... well, we'll take you along for the ride and show you how we're doing it. Yeah, we'll definitely hit some lounges, uh, talk about that experience. But how is it flying to Nepal with three kids and one, one of them fun. being somewhat of a wild card? Uh, well, we'll find out. We're heading on to Singapore Airlines. All right, so far, check-in process uh, here with Singapore Airlines, really easy. Walked right up, no no queue at all. We are here about three hours early, so always helpful. All right, so just, I, I think I must have spoke too soon when I said the check-in problem, uh, the check-in was easy. It was definitely more complex, and it had to do with um, some, the, the vaccines that we had here in Indonesia for the kids via our work, and getting those into electronic form and the system and everything not talking to each other but either way that whole thing took about 30 minutes standing there at the would you say 30 minutes or longer about 30 about, maybe longer maybe maybe th call it 30 40 minutes uh but in the meantime kelly and the kids were just chilling here they got the uh any pretzels so i have a couple more things to fill out so wow it was um a little bit slower than I anticipated, but we got through. We did get our boarding passes, so I'm gonna have to do a little work on the phone to get some uh, documents settled, and we should be good here in just a few minutes to go through security, and hopefully, yeah, we still have time to go to the lounge. All right, see you here in a minute. Quick update. We got through security, all the checks, no problem. We walked all the way down this really long terminal to get to the lounge, and it's the Sapphire Lounge uh, Plaza Premium Lounge, but unfortunately they are not working with Priority Pass at the moment. So I, I had the app and it referenced those names and he said that those lounge have combined. It's a new lounge, but currently under renovation. So unfortunately for us, we have no lounge access for our flight, which boards in about 45 minutes. Okay, so as I sit here and edit, um, you know, our next video is coming up. Uh, all the uh, crew here uh, recruited for us for a couple of photos and this is one of those things where sometimes he'll say oh yes I'd like to do a photo and then sometimes he'll say no and people are usually always very respectful of that so this is just one of those times where um, the lady said may I take a picture with your son I said well Forrest do you want to take your picture and he said oh yes yes so he ran right over there and uh, is just doing some photos with these uh, nice uh, people here and again, a very respectful environment. Nobody like grabbed at him. They just asked politely. He said yes. And then everyone gets to enjoy a couple of photos and maybe uh, potentially some new subscribers. So very, very cool here in the Jakarta airport. We are seated. We are back in row 55 and straight economy. Yeah. But not bad. They got good screens. This is our first time Singapore Air. So yeah, Singapore Air. And it's an hour and a half flight. So I mean, we'll watch something. Yep. But the seat is really nice uh, in itself. So basically we've got two USB plugs for the phone. Uh, that I assume is for uh, headphones, but a, a nice size screen. All your call buttons, your tray. But the one cool thing is they do have a plug for my computer, which is right here. So I'll be able to do uh, charging on my computer, laptops, the whole thing. And as we get up, I'll find out if we have any sort of meal. I'll show it. If not, we will see you in Singapore. So the vegetarian meal has come out. This is a pasta and it looks amazing. It's really hot. Beans and pasta and it looks like mango. It's like squash. Or squash. Maybe pumpkin. Nice. Yeah. Looks good. Looks good. Also has a cheesecake. Came with a raspberry. It's all, it's all vegan. Yeah. Maybe it's coconut then. Oh, looks good. Yeah, this could be good. Yeah, what, a, what, a, what a pleasant little meal on this uh, St. Paralyze flight. All right, so the rest of our meals have been served. Granite ended up with a kind of like a chicken pasta and some kind of chocolate muffin. And for the big reveal for me, I imagine some kind of pasta as well, based on what I'm seeing. Oh, okay. Maybe, yes. Okay, so it's like a little shrimp, like a shrimp Diablo. So I see shrimp. 
potatoes, some kind of uh, meat sauce, and uh, definitely some kind of cheesy pasta down there. Chocolate muffin. Hey, check that out. Totally uh, sustainable travel. We'll take it. Bamboo cutlery. Very nice. You know, the more I dive into this little dish, the more impressive it is. So there's actually, this I thought was potato, but actually I think it's like fish balls. Mm -hmm. Definitely not potato, but a chewy, delicious texture. And then check this out, the hidden gem. There's an egg, a hard boiled egg inside my box. Hmm. Sort of a one biter there. And it looks like I can also see tofu. That looks like a chunk of tofu there. And then all the um, all the spaghetti noodles. So quite the little invective dish here. Kelly, any like hidden treasures in yours or it's just darn delicious? Darn delicious. And welcome to the SATS uh, Premium Lounge here in Terminal 3 at the airport. And we have only just a couple hours to hang here before we fly out of the Terminal 3. So we opted on this particular trip to not go over to the Jewel. Now we are going to, after all of our travels this summer, end up with an 11 hour layover in Singapore. So if you're looking forward to seeing more of the Singapore airport from our family's perspective, that'll come in a later video. But right now we got the kids a little bit of food, so we're all sort of spread out. So Cedar is trying to catch up on some sleep. Kelly, how you doing? Good. Good. And yeah, Forrest, good. how's your cereal? Good. You got you like your cereal? Good. Got some frosted flakes there. Granite, get that Coke Zero. Yep. All right, making all the other uh, travel vloggers jealous, I think, with the Coke Zero. How's the food? Delicious. Yeah, not bad? The rice is nice and spicy. Good. Have you tried the chicken? Yeah, it's it looks good. good. All right, cool, 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 cool. All right. Spicy rice, chicken, we'll take it. Daddy. Yes. I want chicken too. You want some chicken as well? Yeah. All right, we'll get the boys some chicken. <laughs> so we've got, I think, let's see, let me just time through there. So we have about an hour now to really eat, relax before we have to start thinking about packing up and heading to our final flight, a five and a half hour push to Kathmandu. Uh, Cedar, are you gonna sleep or you want some food? Uh, I don't want food. No food yet? All right, Cal, what are you gonna do, just hang? I'm gonna get some food. You getting food? Cool. All right, so this will pretty much be the lounge experience. We're gonna sit here, high back comfy chairs and relax. Maybe we'll grab a beer. All right, see you here in a bit. We have made it on board our longer flight, not long haul by any stretch. It's like five and a half hours from Singapore to Kathmandu. And interestingly enough, so we had an hour and a half flight from Jakarta to Singapore. And that plane was sweet. It had nice screens, it had a bunch of plugs, movies, the whole thing. And that was only an hour and a half. So this plane, this is the five and a half hour flight. And check this out. Where, where's the movies? There's no, there's no movies. And we are uh, kind of big movie people on planes to keep the little ones entertained. So without the without the movies for five and a half hours, I don't know what we're gonna do. Um, maybe this plane has Wi-Fi, but maybe not. Uh, we, have a, we have our little bag of toys, cars, and uh, some dinosaurs and some Paw Patrol characters. But that's it, I mean, there's no plugs, nothing. No, no uh, computer plug down here no usbs and so we have five and a half hours just to i guess catch up on sleep good thing i've got at least an audiobook downloaded but what do you guys uh what's your what's your think what's your thought process here granite awful, awful. Six, five and a half hours with no device yeah what do you think about that on a plane it's no good yeah it'd be different if we were doing something but sitting for five and a half hours yeah yeah i guess we could do like old school and use our imagination <laughs> oh. <laughs> maybe like, maybe like a little coloring book. Maybe we'll make up a story. Yeah. Oh yeah, campfire stories. Yeah. Forrest seems to be uh, happily entertaining himself with the car. So the only saving grace would be if no one sits there. All right, well either way we'll find out, you'll find out here shortly. I'll touch base uh, with food and as we get going. But so far, the Singapore Airlines experience on this flight to Kathmandu Sort of a thumbs. I mean, look, this is in the house floor. Do I sound? We're flying. It's amazing. The staff is nice. Though. Staff is nice. The guy was really cool. He explained the whole thing about Boeing's and whatever. So no, no movies is the whole point. Uh, but all right, we'll touch base here once we get going. Okay, so they brought out the kids' meals. Uh, well, not really kids' meals. Again, they get the first choice. So both the kids went with the fish dish, 
And let's see, so granite, what do you think of the fish? It's delicious. Really? Yeah. What kind of sauce is on it, do you think? Sometimes they put lemon or something like that. It's just yeah, like citrusy that. like that, do you think? Yeah. All right, cool. And Cedar, uh, how's the ice cream? Good. I noticed you went right for it. Good, good for you. So delicious? Yeah. Do you think you're going to go for the fish at all? Um, I think. Okay, there's fish. It looks like potatoes, broccoli, butter bread, and again, that big chocolate ice cream. So would you rate, how would you rate this out of 10? Eight out of ten, not bad. Granite, you? Nine point five. Nine out of nine point five, nice. All right, you guys, uh, good rater. So uh, Singapore Airlines, kid approved meals, would you say? Yeah. Nice. All right. Well, they got the fish, and so I know that's at least one of my choices. The other one, I think I heard them say, like a chicken tikka. So I'll go with the chicken tikka, just to like, have a little comparison. But really, not a <laughs> that was a pill that force you through. Not a bad looking meal. All right, so I'm gonna take a quick minute to explain the whole scenario that we just lived through for the last, about the last half an hour. So basically, Forrest fell asleep on Kelly in his underwear, and he's he's pretty much like ready for underwear and no diapers, but occasionally at night we slide him into a diaper. So we attempted to do that here on the plane, and it woke him up just enough to throw him into a raging tantrum. And for about 30 minutes, he was, screaming, slamming on a seat, throwing a huge fit. I mean, like totally disruptive to everybody. And really, when it comes to flying with a three-year-old or younger toddlers, basically, how do you handle the tantrum? And for us, we just, I mean, there's really nothing you can do. We had food carts all around us. There's no way to like get to the bathroom. Not that I even, not that I'd even suggest taking them to the bathroom. So what we did is Kelly and I just kind of occasionally switch seats every five minutes or so, but he, I mean, he was full on raging. Slamming his fists on the seat, slapping the seatbelt around. And you know, it's a combination of sort of ignoring him and trying to gently talk to him. But it's just one of those things you just, there's nothing you can really do with their tantruming. And the problem is a lot of people don't understand that. So like neighbors be like, oh, do you want um, a candy or do you want a whatever? And that, that acknowledgement or the interaction with them continues his tailspin. So you really have to just sort of put the blinders on and interact with the flight attendants and tell them, no, it's fine. He's just having a tantrum. So ultimately he did come out of it as he always does. And as your toddler will do if they ever tantrum on a plane, so in the end, he's doing much better. I'll see if I can seek a peek here. And that's pretty much gonna be the scenario for the next probably 30, 40 minutes. I'll just sit with Kelly, totally warm himself out. He did request his apple juice. We got a little sip there and that's it. So that's how you handle tantrums on a plane. Ideally, you just, I mean, you let him go, let him do the tantrum. They'll bounce out of it when they're ready, but the interaction with other people is what I think escalates versus just sort of everybody let it happen. And it's everyone's best intention, of course, but for us, he's now out of it. Phew, we're thankful. All right, officially into Nepal. It's been- Four years. Four years. Hey, funny little story. The last time we were in Nepal, like on the way out, Kathmandu, we had just finished hiking like an Annapurna, Poon Hill kind of loop trail. You said what to me? I think I'm pregnant. Yeah. And we ran out to a little teeny pharmacy <laughs> and sure enough. I was pregnant. You're pregnant with this guy. This little guy right there. That was, uh, yeah, about four years ago. So he's just over three now. So yeah. here we go. Will there be a child number four? In Catman, do I get? No? no? No. Well, okay, well, listen, third time's the charm, anyway, as they say. <laughs> uh, no, we have a ride already. Oh, okay. Yeah, thank you. All right, so again, a little bit of taxi solicitation if you need such things. How you doing? Hello, namaste. Hey, yes. Pleasure to meet you. Hi, right, thank you so much. Let me introduce. Where's your backpack? Uh, this, this is it. This is all we got. We, we, we roll light. You guys ready? All right, namaste. 
All right. So easy enough. It's nice to meet you again. You too, absolutely, officially. And uh, we're a little late, but not too bad, yeah? Uh, it's okay, no problem. All right. So this is Ganga. This is the man who's going to give us all our connections with the Nepal hiking team. I have the Woo! Nepal hiking team signboard. And we are going to spend all of our hiking days with these guys. We're very excited to bring you along with the process. But we're going to the hotel first. Yes. Okay, yes. yeah. So to the hotel. We're probably going to crash out. So let us show you the hotel room. We're going to connect here, wait for the ride, and we'll see you here in just a little bit. All right, so just a quick ride from the airport, and we have made it to the wood apple hotel oh there's a sleeping doggy yeah. sweet girl all right so it looks like a nice hotel right off the bat very green you good see there yep falling asleep or no no not yet good all right here we go so hello how are you oh is this this year bellboy <laughs> yeah all right what a good what a good boy me down you want to get down yeah okay hello sir hey. how are you namaste thank you you need a passport passport yeah. okay okay we'll do all the check-in process here so our flight actually got in a little bit late so it's almost midnight now and uh, Ganga was so sweet, he was able to connect with the kitchen and they prepared us just some momos. So we have some vegetarian momos. Yeah, bud. Yes. Oh, you got a little, you want to show the world you got a little owie? Okay, we're going to check in with the momos. Kelly, what do you think of the veg? So delicious. Do you uh, think momos is like the best first meal in Nepal? I think so. I did you. I mean, I, I went think back. You would have to have that. Maybe dal bot. Either dal bot or momos. But we're gonna eat so much dal bot on the trail yeah. that I think this was a great, a great choice. The uh, the momos. And uh, yeah. you guys liking the the chicken one still? Mm -hmm. So here is the chicken momo. Mm. That's also good. Tony, the veg mm -hmm. is where it's at. Okay, so now we will finish this up. Give you a room tour here in just a minute. Let me give you a room tour. Now we actually got two rooms. So that was part of the Nepal hiking team package. So we have, Kelly and I have our own room. I imagine Forrest will be in here as well. There's really not much to show to the room beyond the fact that it's just a nice room. I mean, a big king bed, everything's really well decorated. I should mention it's like 12, 30 in the morning. So we're all pretty tired. But the view, it's just, yeah, whoa, the window opened up, <laughs> almost fell out. So I shut that because I got the AC on. All right, but the view, uh, maybe in the morning, if it's worth anything, I'll show it to you then. But all right, table, nice bed, well decorated. Take a peek in the bathroom here. Yes, okay. Small, but nice. It's got the rain shower. Yeah, quite lovely and amenities so good looking bathroom i will walk now across the room to the kids room and i'm really thankful that they have their own room just a little space is always kind of nice hello okay all right the kids room okay you want your fingernails clipped for us okay i'll do it so we got the kids' room. They've got the double bed, the single. Are you guys going to double up or are you going to go separate? Double. double up. Okay, so maybe force use this bed. Maybe he'll be in with us. Probably most likely in with us. Um, a window, TV. Let's just check out their bathroom. I imagine, uh, yeah, it's pretty much the same. So they've got the rain shower as well. Okay, guys, any final thoughts on today's flights or anything? Kind of awful that the <laughs> five hour and 30 minutes flight had no movies whatsoever. Yeah. And all but, of our iPad dropped like 20%. Yes, had we known. But in on the flip side, you guys got like five hours of sleep. This is true. Which is pretty awesome. Yeah, yeah you so would have slept otherwise. probably should be thanking Singapore Airlines for letting you sleep true. for five hours instead of being on true. your device. True. I didn't go on my iPad because I was so tired. You were yeah. out like a light. <laughs> yeah. Now, Forrest was not out like a light. <laughs> yeah, Forrest, we uh, debriefed the tantrum. I think we're all still shell-shocked from it. It was the worst tantrum he's had on an airplane you know, ever. He's really good on airplanes, usually. Yeah. Um, and we always have this anxiety getting onto airplane with a toddler and a baby and then a toddler. And 
Um, and then he's always been really good, but then this time, not so much. It was not good. Forrest, do you have any so, thoughts on your on your screaming on the airplane? Did you yell on the airplane? You're over it. You you <laughs> look, look pretty tired. You look like you moved on. All right. <laughs> good night, world. So, if you were in Seton Port Airlines with us today, apologies to you. Yeah. Thanks for putting up with us. Sorry about um, that. It's just toddler life, I guess. Okay, so look, we are going to bed. It's now, yeah, it's just past 1230. So we are going to shower, get pajamas, go to bed. We will see you tomorrow. Good morning, everyone. I wanted to take a second and show you our breakfast and the view. The view is quite epic. And this is all included in the room package, which is part of our total deal. And we'll talk more about that in a future video with the Nepal hiking team. But basically, Kelly and I went healthy with the... I guess they call them like the health bowl or the, yeah, the, the wood apple. Wood apple health bowl. Health bowl, yeah. yeah. So chia seeds, apple, pumpkin, all that. Oh, more coffee. All right, thanks. We just put it right here. We'll pour. All right, thank you. So a couple rounds of coffee in the morning. Okay, Cedar, you got some bacon and what else? The cornflakes? Yeah. Tasty? Yep. Good. Granite, what'd you go with? Like <clears throat> French toast and vanilla flavored um, banana and Surprisingly, they gave me an ice cream that I did not know. Nice, bonus ice cream for breakfast. You got a yeah. house of flavor of the banana, it looks good. Tastes caramelly, a little bit sugary, kind of sour. Nice, Feels nice, like... maybe like a little uh, lemon or something, who knows. Who knows? Yeah. All right, yeah. so Forrest opting for the pancake, how's the pancake? Thumbs up? Yeah. All right, that's what I like. Good, it's good. He's got the pancake. And He's so happy. really, I just wanted to show the big view here. So just right out the, the is that no glass? It's like no window. It's just open view, but it's a beautiful shot of the Kathmandu city landscape, and that is everything. Yeah. Any any add-ons? No. Let's dig in. Dig in. I slept well. Bed's comfy. Oh, super comfortable. Rooms are nice and cool with the AC. Hot water. Yeah, hot water showers felt wonderful after all the travel. All right, everybody. We will see you in the next episode.